Welcome back to The Voice Roll. I am your host, Jamila Gamble. If you are just tuning in, shame on you. You should have tuned in about 10 minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> this week, our episode is about special apps for individuals who have disabilities. Perhaps you are a parent, uh, educator. You may be an individual yourself, and this is the show for you if you have questions about specialized apps on our tablets, which is the new craze, especially here in the Peel region with the Bring Your Own Device. So we have two special guests here from Special Applications, Sarah and Nancy. Thank you for being on A Voice for All. Thanks for having us. Yes. Ooh, in sync yeah. too. I like <laughs> that. Yeah. So let's begin. Tell us a little bit about your background. Nancy, you want to start? Yep. Um, actually, Sarah, Sarah that's sorry. okay. Go no worries. Um, <laughs> we, um, I've been working with children with autism for 15 years, and Nancy, we have combined 30 years' experience doing um, applied behavior analysis, which is the gold standard in therapy mm -hmm. for them. And we both have our master's in applied behavior analysis, um, with, from master's in psychology with a specialty in applied behavior analysis. Mm -hmm. And we've been so fortunate to work with them, and we see how effective it is. And so we thought, you know, why don't we use what we know really works in person and put it into this app, um, which is ABA Find It, the first one that we've made. So Wonderful. So what inspired you? Did you see that there was a need? Did you want to enhance what you were teaching your students? You know, it was... It's such an exciting field to be in mm -hmm. because we get to work with kids, teaching them all kinds of different skills, and we see it working, mm -hmm. and that's awesome. The, the heartbreaking part about it, it is that it's the a limited accessibility to it. Right. You need one-to-one -one workers, lots of supervision. It's wonderful, but there's long wait lists for it. Mm -hmm. And so what really inspired us was, here's awesome technology yes. that can work with these kids, but how can we bring it to the masses? How can we make it more accessible? How can we enhance those that are getting treatment, mm -hmm. enhance their treatment, and you know, get it out to more individuals? And so right. that's where we thought, you know what? Why don't we have um, the technology marrying the science and start to create Genius. these apps? Mm -hmm. And for a lot of these children, I'm sure you could agree, they love mm -hmm. technology. The minute they see a mm -hmm. smartphone or an iPad, it's like they're yeah. ready to do whatever you, you ask mm -hmm. them to do. Mm -hmm. So that was genius, I guess, on your part to see that ABA is such a, like you said, like a wait list mm -hmm. for some of these parents. Yeah. For, yeah. So tell me about Stanley. Who's Stanley? Stanley? Well, he's our little elephant, and mm -hmm. he um, he basically provides the reinforcement or the the reward for getting correct responses, and helps the mm -hmm. children move along in, within the application. So um, it makes it really fun. He's um, we hired an animator who's really really good, and she's, we spent a lot of time trying to make it really fun and mm -hmm. have the character be something that they would really want to gravitate to. So, so the name special applications. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about that. How did that come to be? Well, the idea behind it is really um, we wanted to, again, go back to that science, use all those really cool, awesome strategies, and make it more accessible yes. to um, individuals mm -hmm. uh, who have special needs. So we thought, you know, there's an educational component to it, so mm -hmm. that's the education yes. meets applications for applications. And we do it for kids uh, who have special needs, so it's special applications. Now, is it just geared to children with autism, or is it you know, welcome other individuals as well. Definitely. So um, we base it's, it's available for anybody who has any learning disability, really, okay, that would great. be able to benefit from it because they we based it on you know the best way to teach. Yes. Um, and so if they have a deficit within, so this teaches it's a basic vocabulary builder. So within different categories, they're learning to identify mm -hmm. um, animals, um, fruits and vegetables, and grains and things like that. And so it's been it's it's taught in a way that we know will maximize their learning Wonderful. so so mm -hmm. I, I'm sure the most important testimonial is from the children themselves mm -hmm. so what has has their reaction been to Stanley and, and yeah. your apps so the awesome thing is is getting to watch kids yeah. play this app right so you know um, because we spent a lot of time on the animation component to it mm -hmm. uh, it's super motivating for them so you watch these kids playing they're learning they don't even know they're yeah, learning that's the, best part. That's <laughs> the awesome part there's the repetition built in which right. is what they need mm -hmm. the cool thing is it's portable they can take it anywhere mm -hmm. so they could be learning in the car they could be learning when they're waiting for you know a doctor's appointment and that's the key and thing with ABA, right is applying it in different that's environments right. Right. Yeah. yeah and Perfect. it's fun so you know the reaction is the laughter mm -hmm. wanting to go back to it play it again mm -hmm. I've seen kids you know play with it 
you know, all day long, literally, and mm -hmm. it's their choice. When they have breaks, they yeah. choose to go to wow. that, which is awesome. And in their minds, they're probably thinking, oh, this is a game, That's you know, right. my exactly. teacher's making letting me play a game, yeah. but really they're benefiting mm -hmm. out exactly. of it. So the key question here is, especially in this field, parents have so mm. many costs for things, from therapy to workers. Mm. How much is this app? It's on sale of, um, on iTunes for three ninety nine. Mm. So you can get it through iTunes or through our website. Can you imagine mm -hmm. that three ninety nine? It's like a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Literally yeah. cheaper than Starbucks. Too. Cheaper yeah. than Starbucks. Yeah. That's, exactly. That is beautiful in the sense that I I work with a few families and they always feel that they have to throw out hundreds of dollars just mm. to get the best quality mm -hmm. you know programming or activities mm -hmm. for their children here for three ninety nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's you know. We wanted to make it accessible, right? That's wow. the cool thing. So it doesn't replace treatment. Kids yes. still need all that extra mm -hmm. support and mm -hmm. help, but we hope that this will enhance mm -hmm. their education, treatment goals that they have, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and for a good price. Mm -hmm. That and that's the that's the part that I'm really yeah. chiming into <laughs> here is the good price. Mm -hmm. um, especially being a teacher myself, you know, we're always trying to be cost efficient in the school, mm -hmm. trying to figure <laughs> out, okay, is this an app that we want to buy? So key that is really good that you guys created this now what are parents um, some of the families you work with what are you know their thoughts on this app again great reactions from mm -hmm. them too in terms of they love the fact that it's just so easy yes right the kids enjoy it mm -hmm. and for the families we're hearing things like it's helping expand their vocabulary so they're noticing the benefits of the kids mm -hmm. playing with it while the kids are having fun mm -hmm. so how does a parent track their, their child's progress. Is there a tool built in that allows them to... Yep, so built in within the tool it, um, it te tells them how well they're doing within each section. So there's actually levels built into it as well. So they have to reach a certain criteria before they move on to a more complex mm -hmm. level. Okay. And so um, they have to reach that criteria and um, if they don't there's a little there's other things built in to help them get to that level um, and then they get there independently and then they move into a more complex level and the parents can track it through what we call the progress report which is in there so and that's something that they could bring to their teachers or mm -hmm. speech and language for sure. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah basically just tells them what is the percentage that their mm -hmm. kids got things right in each category mm -hmm. right yeah so it's easy for them to track mm -hmm. and it tells them did they learn it or do they have to try it again Mm -hmm. okay. to do practice at Now, one thing I've noticed on some of um, the apps I've worked with with a few of my students is that when they get the answer wrong, I've actually seen a few apps that's, that puts a big X mm. like on the screen, and I'm yeah. a little taken back yeah. by that. So how do you um, show the child that they got the answer incorrectly but not really tarnishing, you know, how mm. they're feeling about their work. Well, that's something that's well documented in the literature, too, about how to how to do what's basically called error correction. So if they make an error, um, you don't want to make it too fun because you don't want them to make errors on purpose right. either, right? Mm -hmm. So Stanley just does a little head shake um, to <laughs> let them know because they want to have that feedback that right. they got it wrong, mm -hmm. they need to try again. And so they try again and they get a little bit of extra help um, right. and then mm -hmm. eventually they're doing it again without the extra help. So, so is there yeah. a, an age group that this app focuses on or uh, is it open to maybe adults who mm -hmm. have developmental disabilities? Great question. So our goal is, you know, really to create a, a suite of apps that okay. will help mm -hmm. address the needs across different age groups. This particular one, because of the animation component, mm -hmm. I would say is, is more for younger kids. So mm -hmm. anywhere, you know, as young as two years old. D depends where they are developmentally, but yes. even like eight, nine-year-olds, I've seen mm -hmm. use it. Mm -hmm. um, so anywhere within that age range, they sort of, you know, if they like the more cartoonish animation type right. things, it, this is going to be appealing to them. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And from what I'm hearing, what makes me so happy to hear the most is that these two women here have a background in this field. They're not necessarily uh, individuals who decided, hey, Let's just make an app because right now this is the booming business. These women come with the background, they come with the expertise, they're incorporating ABA, which can be used quite frankly for any child, disabled or not. Um, the components of ABA, you see the results. So to know that there's now an application mm -hmm. along with special applications and Stanley, um, I see the amount of children who could benefit from this. And, and from parents that I've worked with, I know it's, it, it, 
take a little stress off their shoulders knowing that, you know what, maybe I may not have the time to sit and, and do these things with my child, but now there is something that my child could work independently. Any last minute things you'd like to add about your, your services? Just uh, stay tuned for, we have a whole bunch of ideas co uh, coming out in the future with some new ones because we'd really like to develop a whole bunch of so much that can be done. As mm -hmm. you know, in Applied Beam Analysis, we can teach all kinds of things. Yes. So we're looking forward to creating some new ones. If anybody wants to know anything more about it, they can go to the website, specialapplications.com. Yes. And websites at the bottom. And if you have any ideas, maybe you're a parent and you go, hey, mm. I've noticed this with my child. Mm. Maybe this is something you guys need to try. Feel free to tweet me at Ms. Jams PCCS. I'll be sure to mm -hmm. pass along the info. And visit their website. Their website is absolutely phenomenal. The information is there for you. You could have it with your child. Create that, that educational relationship. So let's thank Special Applications. Thank you, Sarah and Nancy. Oh, it was a pleasure you. having yeah. you on the show. I wish you the best of luck with your apps, and I'm sure it's going to touch many children's lives. You're watching A Voice for All. I'm Jamila Gamble. We'll see you after the break.